Hey art friends, we hope you have your drawing supplies with us and you're excited to draw. What are we drawing today? Chocolate covered cherries. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You ready to start? Yes. Let's draw our first cherry over here on the right side of our paper and we're gonna draw a circle. And I'm gonna draw kind of big cherries because we can fill up our paper. So, and we also want room for the face. Yeah. So we're gonna draw a circle. There you go, keep going. Yes. Good job. Now let's draw another cherry and we're gonna draw it right next to it and we're gonna draw only part of the circle because it's overlapping, it's behind the other cherry. There you go, you did it. Now we didn't draw the whole circle because it's behind the other one. Now let's draw the chocolate. I'm gonna draw a wiggly line like this. We're gonna draw drips of chocolate coming down over the cherry. Like that. Kind of looks like it's melting down. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. Let's do the same thing over here. Maybe the first drip is longer and then we can draw shorter ones. Some of the drips can be smaller and some of them can be big too. Nice. Now let's draw the stem coming out of the top of our cherry. We're going to draw a curve coming up like that. Then we're gonna start up here at the top and draw another curve coming down and connecting to our other cherry. And we can come inside of the cherry too. Yes, and then right at the bottom, let's draw a little curve for the center of the cherry. And then let's do the same thing on the right side. Oh, let's add a thicker part to the stem up here at the top. I'm gonna to draw a little oval and then we can also color it in. Let's draw two cherry leaves too. I'm gonna to draw a curve coming out to the left and we could also draw maybe this curve over here coming out to the right curves differently. Oh, it kind of looks like a guy standing on top of our cherries, huh? Yeah. There's his head and the arms. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> this is the center of our leaf, our cherry leaf. And now let's draw the outside of the cherry leaf coming over like this and then coming down and you can connect to it too. I went a little past it, but you can connect to the end. And then let's draw the other side of the cherry leaf coming back. Let's do the same thing over here. We could start on the bottom too. We could curve like this. And then we can curve back on top. What are our cherries missing? Funny face. Hi. <laughs> yeah, let's. Let's draw a funny face and we could change the two funny faces. Maybe this one over here. I'm going to draw two circles that are kind of small down here at the bottom and then just draw a little smile in between. And if you have more room, you could draw a bigger funny face. I'm also going to draw the highlight. So we are going kind of fast. If we go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time, you can also rewind. <laughs> I love that you always add mustaches to your funny faces. <laughs> and I'm also, let's see, I'm going to draw a line across the top of the mouth, kind of like how you did. And then I'm going to color in the mouth. Yes, I love it. Okay, now this one, I'm going to draw different. I'm going to draw two upside down U's like this. And then the number three, it looks like kissy lips. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you go ahead and add another face to your other cherry. <laughs> I'm gonna draw a little heart right here also. And you could add even more extra details to your drawings. I'm gonna do a little speech bubble across the heart or around the heart. Comes around like this and then connect in. This cherry loves this cherry. <laughs> I like it. I like that the mouth is open. That's awesome. We did it awesome. We finished drawing our chocolate covered cherries, but we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, my favorite part. We are going to fast forward, but remember to pause the video and take extra time to color your drawings too. And maybe you could even add more things like more cherries or other fruit. Yeah. You ready to fast forward? Mm hmm.
We finished coloring, but one of the last things I love doing with most of the drawings is going back over the drawing and making the outside line a little thicker. And we did that with the stem coming down. The stem is thicker now. And then I also went around each of the cherries, but you can also leave that off to make it a little easier. I also added a highlight here on the chocolate and also on the leaf. Now this leaf, we made the highlight by just not coloring the spot right there. We left it white. Yeah. But we can go back over on top of the marker with our white colored pencil and add highlight to the chocolate. That makes the chocolate look really shiny. Oh, also even tastier. Yeah. I'm going to add highlights kind of all over and on each of the chocolate drips. Ooh, we could also add a highlight right here where it comes into the center of the cherry. Oh, that looks really tasty. Now I want some cherries. Yeah, chocolate covered cherries. <laughs> chocolate covered cherries, that looks so tasty. We used our biennial markers to color with and if you have the same set, we use G515, the green for the two leaves and then we also used Y648, it's dark brown, we used that for the chocolate. I used a CG03 for the little shadow down here. And then the red is R107. That's the red we use for everything. Yeah. And I also used a darker red, which is... R126. Yeah. And then the pink I used is R605 for the heart. Austin, you did a great job. I love how your cherries turned out, especially colored in. Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you love the coloring part? Yeah, it was really fun. I love that our two drawings don't look exactly the same either. They both turned out perfect. I especially love your drawing. No, I especially love your drawing. <laughs> Thanks. The most important thing is... To have fun. And to... Practice. Practice. Remember to practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.